How many of you guys were at Ignite Phoenix number 10? Yeah. Well, then you might remember that I stood on this very stage and told you about better living through fast food. Better living through fast food. Yeah, what a load of crap that was. On April 21st, I flew in from Seattle, landed about midnight, went straight to Jack in the Box, as I'm prone to do, and got behind some guy that ordered 60 tacos, okay? I found it incredibly annoying. But it wasn't nearly as annoying as being in the back of one of these eight hours later, on my way to the hospital, having a massive heart attack. I know, it's a bit of a downer. It's a little different than the last presentation. I woke up that morning and I felt fine. But I started to have these weird twingy chest pains and I called my wife and I said, Francie, I'm having chest pains. She said, no, you're not. You have indigestion from the tacos. <laughs> Unfortunately, she was wrong because a few, hour, a few minutes after that, I felt like I got kicked in the chest. Sweat started pouring out of every pore in my body and I knew that something was horribly wrong. 70 minutes later, I was in a heart catheterization lab getting two stents placed inside my heart in order to keep me alive. And these are the guys that did it. Um, that's my cardiologist, Dr. Mark Berkowitz, the nurses at Banner Heart Hospital, the Mesa Fire Department. I would not be standing on this stage right now if it weren't for them. Yeah, they were awesome. This, this is the bruise that was left in my groin area after the heart catheterization procedures. And as nasty as that looks, that was really the worst physical part of the recovery from the heart attack. As I walked the aisles and the hallways of the cardiac ICU, which I did a lot, I thought about a lot of things. And uh, I thought a lot. And what I really thought was that I was going stark raving mad, okay? Because people, human beings do not handle their own mortality well, okay? We, we fear death, we don't understand it, we want to avoid it, so we just, we're not good at dealing with it. I did a lot of introspective thinking. I thought I should have been a better father, a better husband, a better friend. I think I second-guessed every decision that I made in my life. I dwelled for days, if not weeks, on death, which is kind of a weird thing, and it's certainly not very healthy. Fortunately, I met a super group of people on Facebook, of all things, called the Under 55 Heart Attack Survivor Group. It's kind of one of those clubs that you hope you never have to join. But those people really helped me and they helped me understand that what I was feeling was normal and they helped me understand that I needed to make some lifestyle changes and I needed to start that with my diet. Okay, I really did eat fast food five, six, seven times a week before my heart attack. I am a meat and taters guy and if it's deep fried, it's even better. I couldn't do that anymore. I started eating more fruits, more vegetables. I, I even eat Brussels sprouts. Blows me away. It's good stuff though. I started watching my sodium. The average American eats twice as much sodium as they should. I ate two or three, three or four times as much sodium as I should. It's really hard to cut back because sodium is pervasive. It's in everything. Check your food labels. Um, fat food, fat, fat, fat is bad. This looks delicious. And I used to, I probably have ordered French fries four times since my heart attack six months ago. Prior to the heart attack, I would have ordered four French fries by Wednesday. <laughs> Exercise is something else I didn't do. Now I'm not a runner and I'm not a, I'm not a weightlifter yet, but I walk five to eight miles every day. I've walked 837 miles since I had my heart attack. That's like walking from Phoenix. Thank you. It's awesome. 35 pounds, gone. I want to run you some numbers really quick. 220,000, that's the number of dollars it will cost you to have a heart attack. 7.8% is the amount of research money that's spent on uh, researching heart disease. An American has a heart attack every 34 seconds. You know how many Americans die from heart attacks? That's a 737. Fill it up with people 11 times, slam it into the ground 11 times a day, and that's how many people die in this country of a heart attack every single day. It's staggering. And it's depressing, but I don't want you to be depressed. I want you to walk away from this presentation with a new appreciation for life. It's short. We take so many things for granted. Sunsets, holding hands, waking up to next to somebody you love. Don't stress the small stuff, guys. Be happy, okay? I don't dwell on death anymore. I dwell on life. 
And I want you guys to dwell on life too. Thanks. Yeah.